Hello everybody, this is Jimson Slim, and today I will be reviewing LEGO Marvel Spider-Man, set number 40454, Spider-Man versus Venom and Iron Venom. This set retails, as you can see from the sticker on it, for $15 in the United States. It features 63 pieces and 4 minifigures. Now, I actually picked up this set at the Legoland Discovery Center Lego store, which is why they put these price stickers on them. It's something you don't really see at other Lego stores, which is interesting. This is what the front of the box looks like. It shows you your four minifigures and the small build, which I think is a l pretty preferable. You know, I'd rather have a smaller build and more minifigures on the back. You see the four minifigures, as well as some of the little accessories that come with them. But without further ado, let's pop this bad boy open. Now, I decided to forego the unboxing experience, you know, since I already just did that literally yesterday on um, my Defense of Hoth review. But, you know, this is what you get. You get one bag of parts, as well as these small instructions. But without further ado, let's get into the build. Alrighty, and there we have it, our completed build. Another very, very simple one. And actually, I'm actually surprisingly pleased with this cart, because it's, uh, you know, it looked pretty unimpressive on the box but from this angle it does look a lot better you can fit a couple minifigures on there but before we get into that let's take a look at the minifigures first up we have your titular anti-hero slash villain venom <laughs> they came with an extra hot dog so i gave that one to him it does show him in the instructions holding one of the hot dogs and you know you know, if you've seen the movie Venom or if you're familiar with the comics, I'm sure, which I am not, I apologize, uh, he does eat a lot. So I just decided to give him that extra Frankfurter, you know. And then, so he has a very good print on his face, you know, looks like Venom. He has a chest print and a back print. Only things he doesn't have is, I, I don't think he needs it either. He ha does not have arm printing. He does not have leg printing, you know. I suppose that's acceptable. Next up, we have Peter Porker, possessed by Venom, also known as Pork Grind. It's, <laughs> it's interesting. They use the same torso and legs for him as they do for Venom. I guess, you know, well, I think we've seen that Venom does make his, his host a bit taller, you know. So he has one of the hot dogs as well, of course. I really like this custom head they do for Peter Porker, you know, and it looks very good with this possessed Venom print. I really like it. I also went in ahead and gave him Spider-Man's extra web shooter, which I suppose you're supposed to be able to, like, launch out of their hands, although not really sure how you would do that. It might be hard for me to catch on camera as well, using one hand to hold the camera. Next up, we have our lone hero in this figure pack, Spider-Man, looking very good. Mine seems to have something on his head. But, you know, he has that facial print. He has a print on the back of his head of just kind of that Spider-Man mesh. He has a back printing, arm printing, which looks very nice, very good, very detailed, as well as a detailed chest print. I gave him both of his little web shooter pieces and he has just plain blue legs. None of the figures in the set have any leg printing. And last but not least, we have Iron Venom, whom I did not know when I bought this, actually, that they changed the helmets to be one piece. They don't have the piece that lifts up anymore. I guess in the context of he is possessed by Venom, that does kind of make a bit of sense. But I do wish I had picked up one of the Iron Man sets with the two-piece helmet. I might have to slide over to Bricklink one day, although I mainly collect Star Wars and not Marvel, but... You know, I just always thought that was a very cool minifigure design. So we see his helmet. You know, you can see the Iron Man face peeking through, but he is mostly just possessed by Venom. And even Venom's face is very detailed, conforming to the metallic Iron Man helmet structure. And if we remove the helmet, you'll see he does have... His heads up display face. I'm not sure if he had Friday or Jarvis at this point, but on the other side of his head, he has his normal facial print. If you do want to have him with his helmet removed, 
They do have a very nice back printing on this, and then they have two different colored arms, the Iron Man arm and the Venom arm, as well as a very nice detailed chest print. And this is the one character where I think it would have been really nice if they had, you know, done more than just black legs, if they had continued some of the leg printing, because as you can see here, Venom, like, really shows some of the details of Iron Man's suit, even through the parts that he covers. So I think it would be a good idea to actually have some of those details on his legs as well. So over here we have an extra energy blast for Iron Man. We have the extra parts that came with this. And we have the go-kart, which, um, I mean, someone who knows more about Marvel can tell me if this is even something that they've ever seen Venom driving. But on the package, they do show that this seems to be Venom's go-kart. So we'll go ahead and put him on there and have him driving. Maybe I should, okay, there we go. So you can have him driving. You even have space for someone to stand on the back. So I would put Peter Porker on there because Iron Man can fly, but pretty sure Peter Porker is pretty much the same power-wise as Spider-Man. So we can just have them rolling into the battle uh, Spider-Man and, you know, Iron Venom. So now you're probably wondering, what are my impressions on this set? I mean, the fact that I picked it up is telling. If, if nothing else is telling, then that definitely is because I don't collect Marvel. So I had actually gone into the store looking for the Star Wars minifigure packs, and I saw this, and I just thought... Wow, that is actually really cool. Like, not only do you get this very de detailed Spider-Man, you know, he doesn't have any leg printing or dual molding, but for 15 bucks, I really cannot complain. But you get these cool minifigures, two of which I believe are exclusive to this minifigure pack. You know, you get Venom, it comes in some other sets, but Pork Rind, I have not seen him, nor have I seen Iron Venom in any other minifigure pack. And I just thought... This was a cool way to start my little Marvel minifigure collection because it's not going to be like Star Wars where we have all these cool vehicles and buildings and etc. And where I, f I feel like I have to collect all that stuff. But, you know, that's something I like about Marvel is there are not very many Marvel builds that I'm like, oh, I really want that. One of them, though, that I do want is the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, but that's a complete other point. But I think that this is a fantastic way to get, you know, these four minifigures uh, and to start your little Spider-Man collection if you're not interested in the sets or the mechs or anything. Personally, I'm going to give this set a 10 out of 10 on playability because... I mean, for a $15 minifigure pack, it has these little shooter launcher things, you know, which is, what else can you want from superheroes, really? It has a go-kart, which, you know, that's playable. You know, this would be a perfect gift for a small child. I'm just going to go ahead and get down on the floor so I hopefully don't lose this when I go ahead and flick it. Yeah, that shoots pretty far. I'm really impressed. But with all that being said, definitely leave a like, subscribe, slide down to the comments. I will also be posting an affiliate link, you know, that if you want to help support the channel, if you want to get this, you know, you're probably not going to find it on sale anyway. So it's just an easy way to win-win situation for everyone. Let me know what you guys think of this set. Is it something that you would consider getting either for yourself or a relative or maybe a younger sibling or one of your children if you're grown what do you think of the play features on this but definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments and with all that being said this is jim to the slim signing out I got that